imagine this. You walk into a beautiful vineyard. The sun is shining and the air is filled with the sweet aroma of ripening grapes. The tasting room is inviting with rows of gleaming glasses ready to be filled. It's an experience that promises discovery, delight, and a dash of drama. But how do you ensure you savor every drop? We're about to find out. But first, let's get into that intro. Welcome to Beats and Wine Stories. My name is Steve, and I'm your host through this vast world of wine and the music that dances along with it. Join us as we journey through the sensory experiences that define cultures, awaken the palate, and stir the heart. So grab your favorite glass and let the journey begin. This is Beats and Wine Stories. First things first, let's talk about preparation. You don't need to be a wine expert, but a little knowledge goes a long way. Do some research on the winery or region you're visiting. Know what wine they specialize in and maybe jot down a few you're excited to try. Now, when you arrive at the tasting room, take a moment to soak in the ambience. Wine tasting is as much about the atmosphere as it is about the wine. Engage with the staff. They're there to guide you. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. They love sharing their knowledge and passion for wine. The first pour is often the most exciting. But before we get into it, I want to give you a quick way to maximize every pour. It's what we call the four S's in the wine world. They are C, Swirl, Smell, and Sip. Start by holding your glass up to the light and observing the color. This gives you clues about the wine's grape variety. Of course, you can find that information on the wine label most of the time, if not every time. Then give it a swirl to release the aromas. Now bring the glass to your nose and take a deep inhale. What do you smell? Is it fruity, floral, earthy, or spicy? Don't worry if you can't identify every scent. Just enjoy the complexity. Finally, take a small sip. Let it roll over your tongue and notice the flavors and textures. Is it sweet, sour, bitter, or savory? How does it feel? Light or full-bodied? One of the best parts of a wine tasting is comparing different wines. Start with lighter wines and move to heavier ones. This progression helps your palate adjust and appreciate the nuances of each wine. And remember, it's perfectly fine to spit after tasting, especially if you're planning to try several wines. This keeps your senses sharp and ensures you don't get too tipsy. Pairing wine with food is another delightful aspect of tastings. Many wineries offer small bites or cheese boards. Notice how the flavors of the wine change with different foods. For example, a rich, creamy cheese might mellow the tannins in a bold red, while a tangy cheese might brighten the fruit notes in a crisp white. Wine tastings are also about enjoying the company and making memories. Share your thoughts with friends and fellow tasters. Discussing what you like or dislike can enhance the experience and deepen your appreciation for the wine. And finally, Remember to take notes or snap pictures of the wines you love. This helps you remember your favorites and makes it easier to find them later. Many tasting rooms also offer bottles for purchase, so you can take a piece of the experience home with you. Wine tastings are a journey for your senses, a celebration of flavors, and an exploration of tradition and innovation. So next time you find yourself at a tasting, remember the four S's. Embrace the experience and let the magic of wine unfold. Here's to your next great tasting adventure. Once again, thank you for joining and listening in. For the music of Beats and Wine, visit beatsandwine.com forward slash music. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, cheers to your exceptional self. <laughs>